All right, we're here backstage at GovBall with the one and only Young Gravy. Just got off the stage. How are you feeling? I feel pretty damn good, baby. I feel uh, sensational. Okay, last night you just released White Claw with Shania Twain. What was it like working with her? Shania and I uh, got very close. The first time I met her, we just got along mad well. And she invited me to a barbecue the next day, and then we ended up in the studio. Wow, and it was song was made that night and everything? We started it that night, and then she flew me out to Milwaukee for one of her shows, and I just, we we made a ton of music, yeah. That's Sorry. awesome, that's awesome. And Clementine, that was the lead single off the upcoming album. Why country? I mean, a lot of people, we got, you know, we got Post coming in, we got, you know, Beyonce, Young Gravy's entering the ring as well. People like Post and I, who have been making music for, you know, some six, six plus years, you get a little bit bored of doing the same thing and you get restless and you want to try something new. And I think that, I mean, my favorite genres are soul and hip hop. And I would assume posts are somewhat similar. I don't want to compare myself to him because it could be a whole different reason. But I, I pick country because I had a lot of friends that I met in that space and I could tell stories that were even more similar to my real life and the sounds in it are just like I grew into it. it it sounds beautiful to me now I, I always liked country but now I love country so I basically took my ability to rap and write lyrics and turn it into singing and storytelling so the upcoming album would you describe it as a mix of genres between country country exclusive the album is gravy it's gravy. Let's say if you took Mr. Clean, I mean, you could call that doo-wop gravy, doo-wop trap, maybe. If you took Betty, you could call that, you know, like late 70s funk gravy trap. This is country gravy, country trap in, in my, you know, my styling. So there are songs that are technically pure country based on you know the definition but I know there's a lot of gatekeepers so there's no point no point in trying to claim it but I spent a lot of time in the country with a lot of country artists and I made the music that I loved and it's gravy but it's that's what inspired it so I'm calling the country gravy baby how does one serve country well the, the, there's a number of ways you could serve country right sir I mean it, being and, and serving you know, serving country is, is one whole, you know, that's a big window. It's almost like a Venn diagram, right? Yeah. yeah. Where you're serving, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, But you can also serve your country, correct? Uh, as, you know, the, a mil the military. Yeah. Or you can you can serve country gravy to an audience, you, you know, to whether it's breakfast or a, or a concert. So basically, it's it's a combination of slaying. <laughs> well, hold on. On the on the on the serving yeah. side, yeah. slay. Yeah. Right. Serving. On yeah. the military side, it's protecting, not slaying. Correct. Correct. We're, correct. we're, we're peaceful. Yeah. Right. And in the middle, we're providing food for people that need it. I love it. We got math in here and everything. Yeah. We got all, all the circles and everything. Diagrams, baby. Diagrams. Diagrams with gravy. So we got the Grits and Gravy Tour coming up very soon. What kind of looks are we going to serve on this tour? You're one who, you can serve a look. You, you love to give a little bit in the fashion department. What can we expect on stage? <laughs> serving. So we're on that side of the Venn diagram. We're serving yeah. full <laughs> on yeah. tour. We're, we're going to be serving. Um, Nudie suits, aka like rhinestone cowboy activities going on. I'm making all my. I'm actually bringing a band. I'm making all of them wear similar similar activity. It, it, I, I wouldn't doubt it's vastly different than what we did today. How was it performing at Gov Ball? Um, it was cool. <laughs> it was good. It, it was, was fun. Good. I mean, yeah, it was. It was just another. It was another festival. I would say it was above average. I I, I would give it a solid. Like I mean, I've done a shitload of festivals. I, the, the crowd was great. I give it an eight point five. I'll take that. That's a that's a B. And, and, and that's good because a lot of them are bad. Okay. Okay. We'll take the passing score. Yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate you talking yeah, to us, Gravy. Yeah, Thanks yeah. so much.